welcome to our free analytics sh daily share. Uh, this is the second part of sub searches. We yesterday we used uh, a CSV lookup uh, input lookup. Now we're going to use a straight out lookup, and this is very much like a join. If you're familiar with the database concept of a join, uh, it should look very familiar. Principle again. We've got a lame host example CSV. You can see this. It's got these values. Big thing I want to pay attention to. We have a host field and a count field. This count field isn't really that useful to join to it. It could, you definitely want to join better fields. But for the point of this uh, demo, we're just going to go with that. So we're joining here on host, and we're going to output the count. And you can see that here in this query. We've got index equals internal, source type equals Splunk D. I picked my internal logs because everyone should have them. And instead of using input lookup, we actually use the word lookup. Then we call out lame host example dot CSV. And we're, I have a host field in this, and I'm going to match on host. So I'm just going to write host is host. If the fields don't match, I always just follow the syntax. You don't. Uh, it could be host as source, host source as host, whatever. You take the field from this uh, this query and the field from the lookup, and you put them together like this, and then you output the results of from the the lookup that you want to you want to put on the uh, merge on your table. So in my case, I'm merging this count field. And then I'm just going to grab head 100 because I want them all. And then I'm just going to show the results when they're merged together. And so I can see host, splunk, uh, source type, count. And so every time it sees the word big Splunk, it's going to add on that 29.99. If there was a another one, we can flip this so we get a different host. Interesting, only one host. All right, uh, let's go with host does not equal big splunk and we'll just go grab a head one i don't need to grab any more than that we should get a different count there and now i get host lame yes splunk d no count because it didn't match um, if there was a different one, it would, and so when they don't match, you get nothing. When you get a, a different matches, you get the different values. I hope that helps. That's another way of doing a sub search. It's a little bit, it's definitely a different way of doing a sub search, but you can uh, join your fields using this value. Uh, you can use input lookup, which we did yesterday, to filter out values. This one is kind of a join of two different, a CSV file and your indexes. Hope this helps as you move from being a, a uh, lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja. If you got any comments or you'd like to uh, uh, ask for some help or join our Discord, we'd love to have that and hope to see you around.